everybody, Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. This is a big backpack gift bag and um, I'm really, really pleased with how this has turned out. It is, like I said, it is very big. This measures eight by four inches base. Um, you've got little magnetic pockets on the side here. You've got a big pocket on the front which closes and then your huge one here and then inside you will see the inside there um, and that all closes up nicely I've got these lovely little charms on the front here you could obviously have anything you want um, you could say happy birthday on it but the idea for this one is to give to someone for either going back to school so you could have it um, in any theme that you want there really fun for the kids but this also would work lovely for someone who's traveling or going exploring or moving abroad. And this would look really nice with the journal inside and maybe gifts that are obviously relevant for their journey. So like I said, it's, it's quite a mammoth job. There's lots of elements to it, but I think I've made it pretty straightforward. And then you can see here on the back, you've got these lovely um, little handles here and then the little hanging tab at the top there as well. So yeah. Lots and lots of bits to it, like I said, but um, let's have fun and make it. So this is all the bits and pieces you're going to need. So there's lots here. So I've got my magnets um, for all of the pockets. I've got some glue dots to use with the magnets. These are those little wood veneers that I've used just to decorate the front. And they came from the works. Um, there's some mix of other things, but you can see you've got at, hashtag, um, and all kinds of different things in there so um, I'll, again I'll share all the links if I can find them all. Um, I've got a brown pen here which is what I've used to do the stitching. Um, pencil, pokey tool, right so all the bits and pieces you'll need. So these are just my little tags to hang so obviously you can use anything you want there. I've just got these nice ones here so I just cut them twice each one um, just to make them really really thick and strong and then I've just got um, little um, die cuts of the same uh, paper that I've used for the lids um, just to complement it there as well so it's those right so let me talk you through all of the bits and the sizes that you will need so first of all for your front and your back you need two pieces of 8 by 10 okay so that's your main part then you need two side pieces so you need two pieces like this and these measure 5 by 10 okay so I've got my other one there because I've already started to do that one. So that's those two pieces. Then you need a piece for your base. And this measures five by nine. Okay. Then you need a piece for your front pocket. And this piece measures eight and a quarter by four and three quarters. Then you need two pieces for your side pockets. So these are four and a half by four then you need two pieces for your lid for your side pocket these are three and a half by one and three quarters then you need one which is your lid for your main pocket at the front and this is seven and a quarter by two and three quarters and then your main piece which is your main lid for your backpack and this is four and three quarters by eight now all those measurements will be in my blog so don't worry you don't need to write that all down right this minute you can just revert to the blog and then get that all prepared this is the little piece which is the handle on the top of the backpack and this is six by three quarters of an inch and then two pieces here which are going to be for my um, main handles on the back um, now the length is just standard a4 length so it's 11 and three quarters or 11 and five eighths if you're using letter paper which is 11 inches that will be fine because I probably will end up cutting this down I don't actually know how long I'm going to need it but it measures the same width as that other piece so it's three quarters of an inch that will be the same okay so just trim two pieces of three quarters of an inch width and then just keep the length for the moment right that's everything that we need so now while we've got the scoreboard here I'm going to do some scoring so all the pieces is that one that one that one that one <laughs> That one, that one, oh, nearly everything apart from the front and the back. So this is a large one. 
so there's just no paper big enough unless you've got really good A3 card um, but then they don't generally they're not really patterned and stuff I mean you can you can downsize this obviously and just use um, two pieces of 12 by 12 to make the initial box but I just like to do things different so let's grab so you'll have two side pieces these pieces here I've already finished that one with the pocket so we'll do that one now so scoring first of all along the five inch side of your of one of your side pieces so this is the five by ten you should have two pieces of this okay so first of all just scoring along that five inch side you're going to score at half an inch all the way down and at four and a half inches all the way down <coughs> remove that now and then what you want to do is score at two and a half just down to four inches now on my um, scoreboard here I've got them running down the side here my measurements so I can just see there just roughly I just want to score at two and a half down to four if you don't have any of those measurements on the side just grab your ruler and just hold it at the two and a half mark there and just come down until you get to the four inch marker okay then from the bottom just move the scoreboard a minute Put that over there. then what you want to do is come up from the bottom of the score line here and you want to come up at five inches okay so there's five inches there pop your stylus there you can put a pencil mark if you want and then you just want to join that mark that five inch mark up to the end of that four inches okay so again just come up five inches there put my stylus there in place come here so you can see it a bit better so again that's five inches put my stylus there and then just line my ruler up again to the bottom of that four inch marker this is just going to help us fold in those sides so you want to repeat that twice you can see there that's the score lines that you want to have okay so do that twice so that's that piece keep these all in order so I know that I'm explaining every bit then again grab my scoreboard Ooh. And with your main um, lid, so this is the eight by four and three quarter piece, you basically just want to score along the four and three quarter. Now you want to make sure that the side that you're gonna be scoring is gonna be the top of the lid. So if you've got a pattern or anything, obviously this is how I'm, this is the main piece of this paper that I've used. I wanted this Tours and Travels because I just thought it looked really nice on the top of the bag. So this is the top here, and then this is the bit that's going to be stuck at the back, and then this is going to lift up and fold down. So just make sure that whatever print you have is facing the right way. So pop this one in. So again, along that four and three quarter inch side, you're going to score at half an inch all the way down, and then at one inch all the way down. Okay, that's those two there. Then you will have another lip or lid for the main pocket at the front and this is that um, two and three quarter by seven and a quarter piece and again making sure the print you've got facing the right way and along that two and three quarter inch side you're going to score at half an inch again just all the way down okay so that's that one then you will have these two pieces here which are your side pockets so these are four and a half by four and all you want to do is along the four and a half inch side you want to score at half an inch all the way down four inches all the way down then rotate it onto the four inch side and score again at half an inch all the way down okay and then what I've done is you can burnish all of those score lines and you'll see now that I've done this just this hand stitched pen mark with a brown so that's where I've got this one here I've just gone around and just done a little stitching and it just looks like it's, it just gives that kind of fabric look okay so you want to do that twice on those two pieces that you have with that piece then you will have two pieces of again the little flap the lid for those side pockets these are one and three quarters by three and a half again making sure you've got the print you're doing it exactly the same way along that one excuse me <clears throat> Along that one and three quarter inch side, you're going to score again at half an inch all the way down. Now with these ones here, I've just used my corner punch and just rounded off the edges there. We'll go through all the sticking in a minute. I think my corner punch is actually on its way out because I had it a rather long time. So I always need to just cut those little bits there. 
Okay, so that's what you want there. Burnish, and I've stuck there, but I'll talk through all the sticking in a minute. This is the main pocket at the front. So this is that eight and three quarter, um, sorry, eight and a quarter by four and three quarters. So along the four and three quarter inch side, you want to score again at half an inch all the way down and then rotate it and you're gonna score at half an inch again and then at uh, seven and three quarters. Okay, again, burnish all of those sides and then I've just gone around and put that stitching all along there as well. We need to do a little bit of cutting on this in a minute. And then for your base, which is that five by nine, you just need to score along the five inch side at half an inch, and then again at four and a half inches, and then on the nine inch side, score at half an inch and at eight and a half inches. Or you can just score at half an inch on all four sides, okay? So that is everything, that's all the scoring done. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so let's get everything prepped. So I've got the base here now, so I can remove that. And basically just go around and just carefully burnish all of your score lines. So just burnish those score lines. And then what you want to do is cut each square on the corner completely out, like so. So just removing that square. Then you can see what I've done is I've put red tape. I've used red tape throughout this whole project because it's really strong. So I've just put red tape on all of those sides there because basically these are going to go up like so. And then that's going to be our inside of our base and then all of our side pieces are going to stick to this. Okay, so that's that piece done. Get rid of all of that. Um, okay, so yeah, that's the base done. Then again, while we're here with that front big pocket, you again, you just burnished all of those score lines, okay? And you want to cut out the two bottom squares, like so. And again, just add tape like I have done, making sure you're getting it right up. This is half inch red tape, so it's perfect, so half inch tabs, so it fits in there nicely. And also what you can do is just kind of notch off all of the sides there as well, just to make it all that easy. Um, easier even to um, fold in. You don't get any of it kind of um, poking out the sides and you can do that again for your base because obviously when that comes up you want it to form a nice right angle, nice corner there. So just go around and check. In fact I don't think I need to cut those. I think they're fine straight. Yeah, I'm going to leave the base. Okay so that's those two. Um, so I said about these two, you have two pieces like this just round punch and then pop your tape corner around us, sorry, and just pop your tape there. And again, I'm just going along and just cutting off those. This is the pocket for this piece here. So you have two of all of this. So again, what I want to do here, so this one I haven't done at all, so I'll show you all of it. It's just cut out the bottom squares along those score lines. Again, like so. And then I'll show you my half inch Red tape. Oh no, this has changed actually. This is now the th three eighths of an inch, I think. I used all of it up, so yeah, this one's three eighths of an inch. So basically, all you're doing is along the score line, it's just running your tape, so it's just kind of hogging that score line there. Just do that on all of those sides, and that's just how I've done it on everything else. Okay, and again, just then go along, just cut off. A little bit there from all of those edges. Okay, so again, do that on the other piece because you'll have two pieces of that and two pieces of that. So that is basically all going to fold in and stick on the side like so. And this piece is going to sit inside that like that and that's going to form our pocket so I've done all my stitching what we can actually do here as well is um, get our magnets in place so I'll share all the links to where I put my get my magnets from as well but these are just what I'm using here are what are these just over one eighth of an inch in diameter so just take off two of them very strong there we go 
So what we want to do is, first of all, if you want to measure all this, you can do, but all I'm going to do, if I can split them up, is pop one in the middle of that piece. So ignore the score line. You just want to focus. It'll be helping if I'm in view. If I just uh, come down a bit there. Okay, so all I'm doing there is just going to put that in the middle, roughly, of that lid. So I've got my hot glue gun here. Be very, very careful. You could actually get my hot glue gun for my veneer. For this, I'm going to use the glue dots. That's what I did before. So just grab glue dot there. <laughs> Magnets, mag it's magnetic. Um, Magnetised even to my pokey tool. Right, there you go. So I've just put that glue dot on the back there and then just find the centre again and just sit that down like so. Okay, so that's what you want to do there. And then with this piece here, so that's going to sit over like so. So what you can do is you can measure how far down it is. So it's say half an inch. So again, Half an inch down here. Again, grab a glue dot. I'm going to cover the back of this with some um, card. So this is actually not going to be seen. So again, I'm just going to pop that one at half an inch down. Like so. And then just so it's covered up. I just got some scrap. Let's come back out here. Sorry, I forgot I was in. This is my new camera. There we go. Let's come back out again. You can see all that now. Okay. And then what you want to do is just grab a strip of scrap. So let's just roughly mark the middle there. You're not going to see this at all. This is just to stop that magnet lifting. So it doesn't even matter if it's not completely straight like so and then I'm just going to grab some red tape okay and then just sit that over that magnet like so like I said you're not going to see this at all you just want to make sure that, that magnet is definitely not going to come out or come off okay and then you imagine when that goes when we sit that down the magnet's caught straight away so now you can okay so that's all ready to go and we'll attach that in a bit so do all of that all again on the second piece and that is what I've done here and we might as well do that now actually so you've got these two side panels here so that's the one I've done already so first of all let's take our backing off so I'm dressing all of the sides and everything. We're putting it together physically as a, an actual bag right at the end. It's so much easier to do all this decoration um, whilst you've got it flat. So you want to bring up, do this first, bring up the bottom and fold over your sides and they should just stick just enough on the red tape like so. All right, so that's all folded in. You can see there you've got your little pocket. And then just make sure you've got an even border from the bottom there around on the sides so I reckon there will do okay so that's that piece and then with this here again I put my tape already along there and what you want to do is just kind of squeeze the sides there so you're just opening up that pocket and just sit your um, you know your flap <laughs> so the score line of the flap line, lines up with the top of the pocket and then you can just push it down It'll stick to the back now you have your pocket obviously we've concealed the magnet on that side so it won't catch with anything that you're going to put in and out and then your magnet burnish that over just closes there also what I did do and I forgot to do that you can see I've curved the corners there because I wanted to try and create a bit of a aged you know bit of a like it's been used 
So I might even go round and distress some of the edges. But again, if you just kind of, so you're just breaking up all of those fibres really. And then just close it down there, give, give you a nice open and close there. Okay, and then I've got my little wood veneer, I've got my hot glue on, just going to put a little bit on the back there. And again, just you can feel where the magnet is, so you know that's the center, and just kind of hold that in place. Like so. So then you need to do that twice. So these are the two sides. And also just pinch in that middle score line. You want to pinch it inwards. So you're pushing down there. And then those two as well. Just kind of lift them up. It will just help it when it all goes to close. Like so. Okay. So that's the two side panels done. Um, okay. We've done all that. Done all of that. And then you've got your two main lids here as well. So again... Just burnish your sides, run your sticky tape there, and again, burnish those two score lines because that's going to be, it's got a little bit of room there just so that the bag can kind of expand with whatever you're putting inside of it. Okay, so grab now, I've put front and back, they're both the same, but you might have different prints. So grab whatever is going to be your front, and we'll put our pocket on that one as well. So grab your big pocket here, and exactly the same way as we've done the other ones. So I'm just going to, actually no, I need to do my magnets first. Right, so let's just work out here what I want okay, to so do. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to do two magnets, but I'm going to put three veneers on, wooden veneers. I just quite like the three, I think. So with the two there, if I just kind of roughly see where this is going to, how far down. So I'm looking around about... I just work this out and then I can give you rough measurements. Okay, so I'm going to stick two of my magnets, um, let's say two inches in from each side. Yeah, two inches. And then you want to come down, it's about one and a quarter. Okay, so again, I'm going to grab some more okay, magnets. So grab your blue dots. And again, I'm going to cover this up again with some. actually quite good that it sticks to it <laughs> like so and again just grab some more scraps I'm just gonna roughly just put two over there like so like I said this is just to make sure that those magnets stay in place because um, although you're not going to see it you just don't want anything catching so I'm just going to put some tape again on the backs of these Okay, so just stuck them both on the back there. Then turn it over, grab and more, more magnets. Let it find the magnets on that side. You can hear them all clicking into place. Ah. Okay, there we go. Let them find where they need to go. And then again, we're going to apply some glue dots on the tops of these. These glue dots are a little bit big, so I'm just kind of mushing them, squeezing them all onto the face of that magnet. Again, just so I've got no sticky kind of hanging over the other sides, like so. And then if you get this, sit the lip and the score line piece behind there, okay? Make sure it's all nice and even. And you've got it lined up at both sides and then just bring it down and stick that like so and then you'd be able to lift them up so now they come off and they're in the right place and then again I grab my hot glue feel underneath where it needs to go sit that one in place get the other one there again Make sure they are lined up. I know they are all in the right place, but just check in. And then I'm going to put my third one in the middle there. Again, you've got a few seconds wiggle room with the hot glue, which is good. Okay. Get those little... 
stringly bits off in a minute. Okay, so that's that now already. So again, grab that front piece, take off the tape on all of the Again, edges. fold up the bottom one, bring over that one just so it kind of grips onto the corner. And again, that one there. So you've got that pocket effect again. And then you just want to hover it over again so you've got an equal border. Like so. Make sure that's all nicely secure. And grab your top bit here. And again, I'm going to just kind of lift it up, feed it in without it really hitting the back. So I've got my hand in there to stop it sticking. And again, I'm making sure that it's all lined up with that front. like so okay so it's all lined up there once you're happy stick that back bit down and then you can fold your pocket over again and there we go we've got a nice pocket that closes and again i forgot to curve it all again you can still kind of do that on here just like i said just rougher it roughing, roughing it up a little is what i want to do There we go. Okay, so that's that one done. Right, so now we need to start putting it together, but again, there's a process. You've got to do it bit by bit. So let me just think this out. So let's grab the back here first, because before we stick this, so you flip it over, see this is the back. This is going to be sticking inside like so. So there's the red tape. It's going to be sticking underneath there like so but first before we stick that down we need to add in this little piece here which is going to be that like handle so that's going to be sticking out of the top and also we need to add these two in and this is why I said I'm not sure about what length I want yet so and I'm still not sure I'm going to leave these hanging until I decide but they also need to be stuck in there as well so if you just roughly fold over maybe half an inch Half an inch has been good for this project. Let's say half an inch, okay? So just fold over the top like that. And again, with this one here, just enough to stick inside, that's all. And again, what I've done with this is this has become so soft. I've been like using my bone tool. I've been, you know, curling it both directions, really, again, breaking up all of those um, fibers inside the card. Because the idea is that this isn't <laughs> physically gonna be used, but I want it to look quite real you know um, and by doing all these these kind of bits here it kind of helps distress it and age it a little so you can see there I've really just curled them up and you feel it get really soft you don't want it so soft that it could rip but just kind of gauge it so you know like so okay so you want to just have it flat and then just Keep your fingers and thumbs like they are and just bring them around to the front of you and it will create that shape. So first of all, if we get that kind of in place, so let's take this one off here and just, again, I'm eyeballing this if you want to use a ruler. So I'm just making sure that I've got equal distance from this side to the end and this side to the end. So I reckon, ooh, oh, doing it the wrong way you need to do it that way because it's going to be closing up so you want to have it smooth this one like right? so it's a bit easier that way as well because now we can have it flat so okay so i've just turned the whole thing flipped it over have it flat here and then what you can do is make sure you can just spend some time i think i'll grab my ruler here and it's about is that three on each side oh look at that it's three inches in on each side and then just push it until you get over that sticky and stick it down Okay, that's a good way of doing it. And then you can imagine now when that all folds down, that's what's going to be, and that's going to be the top of the bag. So now what we need to do is we need to put some more tape over the top of this bit here, just so that it sticks. And then inside. again with these handles, so where we've just scored or kind of burnished, you want to do the same thing and just make sure that you're sticking that piece over there. And then again, 
same distance between them, that piece there. So now let's flip all that over and you can see now we've got the start of the backpack coming together. It looks really nice, I really like that. Oh, you start to get a bit excited when you see it all coming together. Okay, so again, let's put some tape over. Now what we can do is stick all of this. So you want your back facing up, so whatever pattern you've got facing up, and that's gonna stick like so over there. So let's remove the rest of this. Make sure I don't get this in the way. Let's just fold that out. There we go. So again, spend some time, hover it over, make sure you've got point to point. Let's try this this way. I can't really see. That's it. That's better. So I'm just kind of lifting up and just kind of putting down the very edge first until I'm happy that both are perfect. Make sure that's really stuck down nicely, like so. They should fold over kind of like so, just help them along, and then that will stay up. So you can see now the back, these are going to be going in somewhere around here. When we get to that bit, we'll go through that, and then there's the front. So this is my oh, front good. piece, flip it over, and basically you want to find your middle point, so four inches, okay? Then come down at four inches to two and a quarter and just mark across and that's where we're going to add another magnet. I think I might add two here. Ideally I could do with bigger magnets for this bigger piece. I haven't got them. So I'm going to pop two um, together and then stick them down with the card over the top again so they don't um, try and get into each other. So I'm going to put them right next to each other. So I'm going to put one like so, Let's see if this works. And then grab another one, like so. It's probably gonna want to stick. Let's put my thumb over that one. I'm just gonna put it right next to it. Oh no, it's okay, like so. Okay, and then again, I'm gonna grab a little bit of scrap. Okay, and again, just pop that over top there to stop them moving. Now I'm not going to do the ones on the lid yet because just in case there's any kind of movement, there shouldn't be, when we put it all together obviously it might lift up slightly once the sides are in place so that's that's fine just keep them there for the minute. Okay so now we will do the two side pieces, let's attach them to the front. The back's going to be the last bit we do because we've got the little handles that we need to put into place as well. So these are the two side pieces and they're going to stick under each one like so. So I use this one first. Hover it over so it's lined up with the score line. Make sure your bottom is completely flush. And just come over a bit here. Get those completely right. And then again, just lie it down until the top meets, like so. Okay. That's that one. And now when it bends, like so, just help it along a bit. You can see the side there starting to come together and that will squash in, like so. Okay. So again, let's remove this one here. Again, just starting at the bottom there. Like so. Okay, then just fold that one over, help it along a little. Okay, so that's all starting to look quite good. So now we need the base. So let's flip the whole thing over. We should have something like that. Take off one of your longer sides and again you want to stick it, what I might do actually is I think I'm going to flip it over and do it that way because I want to make sure it gets right down to the bottom and you want it to be in line with your front panel. Ignore your side pieces, you want to make sure your front panel, panel is sitting perfectly along there. If you're slightly out with any of this, I would say you go back and recut your card or something because you don't want it. Mine's all, you know, literally meeting perfectly and that's that's how you want it to be. Okay, then now this is when it's going to start to come together now because this piece is going to come around and stick 
to that and it gives you that nice base. So again, just remove this piece here, like so. This is a bit more easier now because you just want to just make sure the side bottom is lining up there with the bottom of that piece. Okay, so you can see that's all come together there. And again, just go over to this side remove the tape again just bringing that down there you can see it all sits nicely this is really strong even though it's not quite reinforced it is really really quite strong okay hold over those so that is now what you should have so you've got this really large base these two bits will come in like so and you can start to see there the backpack all coming together. Okay, so now what we want to do is, this is basically going to go on the back, but before, before we stick the sides down, we need to decide where this is gonna go in. So what I'm gonna do, so it's all lined up, is I'm going to, on the bottom here where I put the red tape, I'm gonna remove the, the, this one here from the base, like so. As we've done with the pockets, just stick it all down, make sure it's nice and straight, like so. And then I'm gonna just start off just taking up a little bit and get this corner. So I've just lifted up a little bit there and I wanna get this one stuck down, making sure that corner is perfect on the bottom. Don't worry about the other corner for the minute. And you just want to do it just a little bit and leave that red hanging out. Okay, and that's all stuck down there. And then you can go here, just again, just kind of take out that red tape, like so. And again, stick that down. Okay, so now we can got two corners and you should have it hanging out here so all of this is still not stuck down now what you want to do is we're going to be I reckon about there okay so this was 11 say it was the so it's hard to really judge basically what you're I'm better off saying to you is doing is either three or four inches it will work so if you're using a4 paper like me I'm going to come I'm going to be sticking this in at three inches if you've got 11 inch then you can do four and it will still look good okay so basically now what I want to do is just see how this is going to so maybe I should maybe I'll do four actually as well there's the four yeah, four inches I'm going to do actually. I just think it gives you a nicer looking um, handle, you know, like side pieces. So come up at four inches, stick it in, or just push it in like so. And then you just want to, I'm trying to burnish it, like create a, a bend. I need to bend it. See what I'm doing there? So I'm just bringing it over so I can pinch it, just so I can create this here okay so that's what I want and I'm going to cut off some of the excess there so I've just got that much so that now can sit in like so okay so let's now take off so this is where it's going to get a bit fiddly actually what we can do is bend it over so this is because I didn't know how far down I was going to do it so what I would say is because you'll be watching this before, is before you stick this down, is from inside here, come up four inches and then stick this here. So I'm gonna grab my wet glue. And again, just bring that over. This is probably the most fiddliest bit. Um, so decide where I want it. And I'm just gonna grab some wet glue and just put a splodge in there. Okay, so I've done that on both. So like I said, what I would say now is, now that I know where it is, I've ended up coming from the top of this piece here. It's three and a quarter inches from the bottom. So what you can now do is do stick that 
inside like I've done on both the sides here when we were doing this lid and doing all the top here as well. You can do all of that together. But I just wasn't sure, so I've left it to the last minute. Okay, now what you can do is lift this one up, take all the red tape out, and just make sure, get the top lined up. The top's in place, everything else should be okay. And turn it over in a minute and put more pressure on it. Again, do the other side. carefully without squashing the handles and just run my finger. I guess visually as well now when I'm looking inside I can see the two little brown bits. If you didn't want them there you could obviously um, cut them, trim them down a bit, bit more but you can see inside there how big this is. It's huge. So now I want to play around with the inside up. until you get it. You see what I mean? I, we cut that, we scored this half inch piece here so that you have this kind of gap so it just gives it room. You should just have all this kind of arched and curved like so. And again on that side there and it should all meet up nicely like it does. And there it is. So now I can work out where I want my magnets to go. So I'll grab the other two. I should just find two on the front there. And again grab some more glue dots. Okay, and again, so bring that all up. Make sure before you stick that down that this front piece here is sitting in line with that score line here on the left like so okay so just kind of you can feel it with your finger and then bring it down just enough to kind of gri grip it and then I just picked up one <laughs> let me just lie that down again there we go so it's got my two and then I can just really squeeze them down like so and now if I do it again you can feel it, it closes up perfectly. So all I need to do now is, I don't think I'm going to put more veneers on there, is I've now got my lovely little these tags. tags. And I've just been playing around, I've just got some of the baker's twine here just to kind of keep it with that in keeping of having it as a kind of rustic looking backpack. And I'm just doubling up my string and kind of looping it through like so. These in terms of length, you're looking at 14 inches, but then it's folded up, so it's seven inches length. That was my glue gun just falling on the floor. Like so. So you can see them there bunched together. They look quite fun. And then if I lie this down, the idea is to have them kind of just cascading there. I'm just so. looping it through the middle here of this top one and then decide the kind of lengths that I want them so I'd like them to all be a little bit different. I think I'm quite happy with how they're kind of hanging down like that. Maybe the heart could come up a little bit And then bit I'm just going to tie it in a knot at the back. Like so. So I've just tied it in a knot there and then there they are just hanging down like so and play around with them. You can put initials on them, obviously put a little happy birthday tag, anything you want, but I am super, super pleased with this. I think it looks so lovely. It is such a big gift bag, as you can see inside. Obviously a lot of work's gone into it, so it is one for the, it's a good one for back to school. You can obviously make it for, you know, any occasion really, but I think this is a nice travel gift. You could put a lovely travel journal in this and give it to someone who's off exploring or moving away. I think it's a lovely gift. So there you have it. You've got your two little side pockets as well, and then your lovely backpack style on the back. So there you have it. I hope you like this one. A little bit fiddly with, the, with that at the very end, but that's purely because I've only made one of these, so I didn't want to um, go too far ahead and then get it wrong, but there you have it.
So there you go, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial today. Please hit the like button if you have and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.